This other one. So the one, so the one. Starting shortly. You get this this audio right. Can you hear? If you can hear clearly, you know, we're just gonna have to rock with this. If we can be heard clearly. You hear so? See if they can hear you. So the one, so the one. Okay, come. All right, so yeah, call Alam La. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahab by God's Shukai. Dwani Ha by Shem Yahweh for the Holy Spirit. Dwani Ha by Shem Yahweh Shai, Chahab or Chachab Das. Double honors to the hopefully like elder apostle slated to be saved. All willing to start with those at the Great Millstone Church. All down to the rest that may be out here abiding under the same doctrine. Much peace and many blessings to the rest of the believers. The men went first and foremost to other men teaching this truth in all true faith and sincerity. Uh, giving all diligence to make their calling you know, in election short, okay? <clears throat> Much peace and blessings to the rest of you believers, you men, women, and children of the Israelite race, the so-called blacks, Latinos, the Native American Indians, and Afro people scattered abroad. Shalom to the elect in one third, and those that will go on to be found to be of the house of David. So yeah, to have been of the house of David. All right, so yeah, we're back with another class, slash the understanding, and, uh, we're gonna be going into the, the class, the three classifications of men, okay? Because we must first understand that um, the Lord, he put us down here to know what's going on. Everything is all about identity and identifying what you really think about this earth that we're on and um, the realm where, where, where we've been uh, put, exposed to in the realm, the ultimate realm, the reality of this realm we're on our way to. You know, coming in this truth, we've been opened up to see things, you know, as they truly are. And uh, Lord willing, this, this lesson helps us see this and proves that, you know, because we know we're completely different from these other nations. We know we hear Hebrew Israelites, we know there's such things as heathens. We know the so-called white man is the devil, but we're going to really put this in perspective, which has been done, you know, starting with the elder apostles on down. You know to the rest of the other brothers you know and we just you know uh, uh just going into it again okay so all right so we're going to be going into that for tonight's class or um you know okay but anyway so let's kick it off with uh let's see see what we want to start with because there's a bunch of different uh ways to kick this off. Okay, so the three the three classifications of men, right? You have the sons of God, right? You have 
And you really, really, first and foremost, I think we need to address the the uh, the what well, people has people people got misconstrued, and that's man, this is such a stomach block. The whole God made we're being made in God's image. Well, first and foremost, that's denoting one of the classifications of men. Okay. Period. You got the sons of God, the sons of men, and then you got the sons um, of the, you got the sons of the wicked, or as brothers say, but, you know, uh, biblically, the sons of perdition, if you want to find it in the scriptures, it'll be, they will be identified as the sons of perdition, okay? Now, the sons of God, let's just establish that these things exist. Give me first, give me Job, and if you got something, bring it up. You give me Job and uh, Bob Kishan. Job, uh, you start at three and one. Got it. Shalom, how about you? Mm -hmm. Shout out the thumb to the brothers and sisters tuning in and, and all true faith and sincerity. Go ahead, bro. Job chapter three and verse one. It says, after this, open Job his mouth mm -hmm. and cursed his day. Well, you at three and one? Right. Jump to two and one. Got it. It's also outlined in two three, but you got it. Two and one. Yeah, Job chapter two and verse one. Mm -hmm. Again, there was a day when Jeez, again. See that? Again. Meaning it's happened before. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Got it, got it. Mm -hmm. Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord Yahweh. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. One and six. You see? Uh -huh. Job chapter one and verse six. Now there was a day when the sons of God, the sons of who, the sons of God, see, and let's denote, uh, uh, um, let's let's make differentiation starting off. If you could jump to one and one, let's just read through four. Bible chapter. God, this is Joel chapter one and verse one. Uh -huh. It says there was a man in the land of us. There was a what? There was a man. A man. Okay. Go ahead. In the land of us, uh -huh. whose name was Joel. Yep, who's an Israelite, come on. And that man was perfect mm -hmm. and upright. See? And one that feared God and extruded evil. Traits to remember, okay? He was perfect, he was a man. He was a man, but he was perfect. God. And we know he's a Hebrew Israelite man, okay? Go ahead. This and, verse and two. He said he feared God, the most high. Come on, and he is shoot evil. You got it. Yeah, verse two. And there were born unto him. And there were what? There were born. And there. See? Yeah, God. Uh -huh. And there were born unto him mm -hmm. seven sons mm -hmm. and three daughters. You see? Seven sons. Okay, so you got, if he's a man, this would be your classification right here. You see what I'm saying? A son, sons of men. So that's when you read that, that's really what that's denoting. It's just somebody that comes from a mortal body. But before we, you know, get messy and, you know, be all over the place, that's that. Now watch this. Up to verse 6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Job chapter 1 and verse 6. Matter of fact, read through 3 because that's a good point. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Job chapter 1 and verse 3, it says, His substance also was 7,000 sheep mm -hmm. and 3,000 camels. So it's dealing with his substance, you see? What makes you what you are. You see what I'm saying? What makes, what, what makes you something or nothing. Or, you see, it identifies you. You see what I'm saying? Because somebody that doesn't have substance, you'd be like, oh, he's shallow. Oh, he's this. Oh, she's that. Oh, she's this. Oh, she isn't this. Oh, she is that. Substance. Whether or not you have it. So, you got substance in more than one way. Which is, these are one of the ways you can have substance, obviously. But go ahead, that's the point. Yeah, kind of. And 500 yoke of oxen. Mm -hmm. And 500 sheet asses. Mm -hmm. And a very great household. Mm -hmm. So that this man. And this is, that this what? That this man. Mm -hmm. Was the greatest? Was the what? Was the greatest huh. of all the men? Of all the, the east, what? All the men of the east. See, because we're from the east, so you got levels of levels of men being laid out to us according to the Bible, according to the, the Holy Scriptures. There's levels to men. Everybody's not the same men. You know what I'm saying? We're not just all men. That's that's blasphemous. Now jump to verse six, Bible Shah. Job chapter 1 and verse 6. Mm -hmm. Now there was a day 
when the sons of God mm -hmm. came to present themselves. <laughs> yeah. So you got you got many, you got different types of sons. You got sons of men, sons of God. Come on. And these are the angels. Okay. Now, what does that have to do with us? Well, if you can read uh Revelation 19 and 10. That has a lot to do with us in the realm we're in, you know, that we've been put in to identify. Because when you go back to Adam, which we're going to get to in just a second, Adam was told to identify everything. You see what I'm saying? Now, was Adam just a regular man? No, you're going to find out. Adam is, you know, a part of why we represent the sons of God. You see what I'm saying? Because you may ask, well, what does the sons of God have to do with us? Go ahead. Uh -huh. Revelation chapter one, 19. one may ask, you know, go ahead. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. And I just say one may ask if you got brothers and sisters that, you know, probably know this already. But it's just good to go over it all again. Come on. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me. And who is this him? It's an angel. It's one of the sons of God. You see? Down here on earth, you know, dealing with or building with. And revealing things to John, another Hebrew Israelite, a man, right? Supposedly. Come on. Come. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Because he, he was an angel, see? Come. He was the son of God. Come on. And he said unto me. He had that power, man. He was heavenly. Come on. And he said unto me. And he said, see? Unto me, see thou do it not. Meaning, see, and that's showing you something. Think about it. He could talk. He got feet. All of that, man. And he told him, he said, what? See thou do it not. Yeah, he told another man, a Hebrew Israelite man, a relative, a descendant of Job. Go ahead. See thou do it not. He said, you don't do this. Come on. I am thy fellow servant. He said, I'm doing, I'm, 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 we're after the same cause. Come on. And of thy brethren. And we're kin. See? He said, I'm of your brethren. Read that one more time, bro. Bob, Come on, Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10. Uh -huh. And I fell at his feet. Yeah, an angel. To worship him. A son of God. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren. Thy what? Thy brethren. Whose brethren? Thy brethren. No, everybody's brethren. Thy brethren. See? Your brethren. Come on. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. So if they brothers, that would make uh, John a what? An angel. A.K.A. a what? A son of God, man. So is that simple? Alright? Now, when you go back to uh, Genesis, let's go to Genesis real quick. You're just going by the Spirit. Right? You got many scriptures that, that point to this. Okay, you go to Genesis. Uh, let's start with... Uh, Six and two. This is Genesis chapter one. Bible sorry. Genesis chapter six and verse one. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters See, were when, born, when men uh -huh. began to multiply on the face of the earth. This doesn't mean there wasn't other men on the earth besides Adam. This just means the numbers was growing, the population was going up more and more. Come on. Kind. It says, and it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, uh -huh. and daughters were born unto them. And daughters were being born, come on. They were bringing, so it had to be other women. See that? That's a cut, come on. Verse 2, it says that the sons of God saw the daughters of men. So you had sons of God actually down here. And this is what people get all screwed up on, come on. God, that the sons of God saw the they daughters. They saw, because they had eyes. And if they had eyes, I mean they had bodies. Come on. Yeah. Saw the daughters of men uh -huh. that they were fair. Uh huh. And so they and they actually had uh, human emotions. You see what I'm saying? Come on. And they feelings. Come on. And they uh -huh. took them wives. Meaning the sons of God, they did what? Took them wives. Uh huh. Of all which they chose. Now, people think this is literally talking about fallen angels. Like in the sense of, you know, some damn iconoclastic painting where you got Edomite leprous angels being cast out of heaven and they fall on the earth or something like that after God and, you know, the most high saved boxing. You know what I'm saying? 
as your grandma would tell you some 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 madness or something. No, what happened was, go ahead. It's going to explain. Yeah, really, that's true. But people don't understand it. The sons of God did fall. Angels did fall. But they didn't fall out of heaven, literally. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, that's not what happened. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. Genesis 6 and 2, mm -hmm. it says that the sons of God mm -hmm. saw the daughters of men, mm -hmm. that they were fair. Mm -hmm. And where did these sons come from that are on earth? You see what I'm saying? Because that's like a whole other thing. But go ahead. And they took them wives of all which they chose. Yep. And the Lord Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with men. That his what? That my oh, spirit. Oh, that's the cut right there. His what? <laughs> Who said this? God. And the Lord Yahweh uh -huh. said, My spirit. His what? My spirit. What? Shall not always strive with men. That's what made these men the sons of God because they had the spirit of the Most High. Meaning what? They had his words. You see that? So we cut this thing quicker than, you know, I thought we would, you know? Because what is the spirit? You got it? Great. Second six, 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 yeah. yep, John, uh, John 663. Okay. This St. John chapter 6 and verse 63. It's a lot here. Mm -hmm. um, it says, it is the spirit mm -hmm. that quickened mm -hmm. the flesh profited nothing. Mm -hmm. The words that I speak unto you, the what? The words mm -hmm. that I speak unto you, mm -hmm. they are spirit mm -hmm. and they are life. See? So there it is. So that's what he meant by his spirit won't always strive with men. Meaning, the men that were in the state of, you know, uh, being like gods because they had the words of God given to them. You see what I'm saying? Will no longer be. You see what I'm saying? Thus the fall of angels. And the, another word for the sons of God is angels. Was, we just had John tell us what? That, you know, John was at, was of his brethren. A.K.A. a son of God. A.K.A. an angel. Why? Because what made him a son of God is because he had the words of God. How do you know you're a God? If you can get that in, uh, what's that, Isaiah 46 and 21. Um, one second. Forty-one to twenty-three. It's a lot. Cause how do you know you are a god? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. This Isaiah chapter forty-one and verse twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Shoot the things that are to come hereafter. Mm -hmm. That we may know that ye are gods. See? It's that simple. So what what the, who wrote Revelation? Oh, oh, hey, go to Re <laughs> please go there, bro. Go to Revelation 1 and start at 10. Bible for side. Yeah, this is Revelation chapter 1 and verse 10. Yeah. It says, I was in the I was in the spirit Ooh. on the Lord's day. <laughs> so he ain't God. <laughs> See that? That's why John would come, that's why the angel would come and tell John later, but he didn't understand that. You see? He forgot that. Because remember, the sons of God failed. See? They lost the importance of identifying. Okay, it's a lot. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, come on. Revelation chapter 1 and 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day mm -hmm. and heard in the sense. Cause they were better than us now. Well, we coming back now. We further than them now at this point. Ironically, but go ahead. And heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, mm -hmm. saying, mm -hmm. "I am Alpha and Omega, mm -hmm. the first and the last." The first, going back to who? Adam. That's important to remember, which everybody thinks they come from. Not this Adam. Go ahead. Con, the first and the last. In the sense you think you do. Go ahead. And what thou seest. Mm -hmm. Write in a book mm. and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, mm. unto Ephesus, mm. unto Smyrna, mm. 
and unto Pergamos, mm -hmm. and unto Diatria, mm -hmm. and unto Sardis, mm -hmm. and unto Philadelphia, yeah. and unto Laodicea. Yeah, but not only the things he see, you know? Really, you can leave it like that because the things he seen was things regarding the future. So it wasn't just the walls he seen and all, no. And if he did see walls, once, once again, it was regarding the future. You see what I'm saying? So that's what? Going back to Isaiah 41 and 23. Right. Isaiah 41 and 23. Shoo the things that are to come hereafter. See? You show somebody something, you can't show them if they can't see it. You see? Right. You can only see what? What you're being shown. You see? So... He was being shown on something. Come on. John. John, go ahead. Yep. Shoot the things that are to come hereafter. Yep. That we may know that ye are God's. Ooh. See? Which John will be able to do because he will be told uh, uh, to write the things he see and send it to the see. He was a God. See that? That's crazy. That's But it's that simple. Like we know that, but it's just happy to just go over and just really, you know, take in. If we can go to Revelation 10, and then we're going to jump to the, uh, to just keep, we're going to simplify this, and we're going to go back to Genesis. Revelation uh, 10, and uh, start at 9. Yep. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 10 and verse 9. Matter of fact, start at uh, 7. Oh, verse 7, mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 10, it says, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, mm -hmm. when he shall begin to sound the mystery of of the Heavenly Father should be finished mm -hmm. as he had declared to his servants mm -hmm. the prophets. Say, ooh. The, the, man, the prophets. And who, hey, so those are the ones that have been showed the things that are here to come so they can show the things that are here to come. So the prophets are gods. And who are the prophets? You got that? Amos. Yeah. Amos chapter 2 and verse 11, it says, And I raised up of your sons for prophets. <laughs> Come on. And of your young See, young, of your what? Of your sons. <laughs> okay. And I raised up of your sons mm -hmm. for prophets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Keep going. It says, And of your young men for Nazarites. Uh huh. Is it not even thus? Oh, who? Oh, ye children of Israel. See? Said the Lord. So, oh. Yeah, so those are the prophets. So the Israelite men prophesying, those are gods, man. AKA hence the sons of God. Go to 2 Corinthians 6 and 12, Bob Shah. You see? Because is there is everybody a son of God? No. According to this. So you're hearing about one of the classifications of men right now. You know, it took a completely different turn to what has been lined up by the Spirit, but by the Spirit, we went this way. You got 6 and 10, 12. Because 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. I'll jump to the point where it say uh, that you may be uh, my sons and daughters. That's 2 Corinthians 6 and like 14, somewhere, somewhere in there. 6 and... Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Good, yeah, yeah. 18, it's locked. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 18. Started... Uh, Start at 16. Yeah, verse 16, it says, In what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. Now, who is he talking to? Is he talking to everybody? No, he's talking to the Israelites. The Lord, he, he dwells in the Israelites. Go ahead. As God hath said, I will dwell in them. See? See that? He's going to dwell in everybody. I will dwell in them. <laughs> And walk in them. Why so specific? And I will be their God. See? And they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. Wherefore come out from among and them. Those people, the Israelites. Go ahead. Yeah, verse 17. Wherefore come out from among them. Uh -huh. Yeah, the other people. See? It's all about identifying with the Lord, man. Go ahead. And be ye separate. Mm -hmm. Said the Lord, Yahweh Shanel Shai. Yeah. And we can prove this is being talked to, to the Israelites. Because it say the things that are written aforetime are written for our learning, right? Well, let's go to Leviticus 26 real quick. You see? Did you finish that? He no. said, be separate and what? And I will receive you, right? That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. 
It says, you read the verse. Yeah, the verse 17, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. It says, Wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Yeah, who was told to be holy? The Israelites, come on. And touch not the unclean thing, uh -huh. and, I will and I will receive you, uh -huh. and will be a father unto you, mm. and ye shall be my sons. Sons of God, see? Yep. And daughters, see? Said the Lord Almighty. There you go. The sons and daughters of God, man. You see? So there it is, man. So who the sons of God is a classification of men. That's dealing with the, the chosen people, the ones that have the word shoot, shoot unto them, right? The ones that have the heavenly father dwelling in them. If we go to Leviticus 6, 26 and 12. Okay. Yep. This is Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. And I will walk among you and will be your God mm -hmm. and ye shall be my people. Mm -hmm. See? Go ahead. Verse 13, I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power, uh -huh. which brought you out, so I brought you forth out of the land of Egypt. You see? There it is, man. So there it is. So that's 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 talking about the Israelites. If you could jump to verse 11. Yeah, verse 11, it says, and I will set my tabernacle among you. Mm. See? There it is. So we're in the Lord's temple, man. The temple is synonymous with us. See that? Come on. Come on. And I will set my tabernacle among you, uh -huh. and my soul shall not abhor you. Yep. So that was talking about the Israelites, as far as those that will be his sons and daughters. Because if you could jump to the last verse in this chapter. Yeah, Leviticus chapter 26. And 46. In verse 46, it uh -huh. says, These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. See? In Mount Sinai. There it is, man. By the hand of Moses. Now notice he's about to separate when you jump to the previous verse. You got it. Leviticus 26 and 45. Uh -huh. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt mm -hmm. in the sight of the heathen. Mm. See? It's all about identifying with the Lord's classes of men. Come on. That I might be their God. Uh-huh. I am the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, that's so one simply. What makes you a son of God is if you can shoot, if you have the words of the Father. You see? And the words of the Father is the things that's going to happen hereafter. You see that? Period. So we're the sons of God, the Israelites, those that have the word shoot unto him. Well, who did the Lord show his word to? We can go to Psalms 140. Uh, 47. Yep. It's Psalm chapter 147. 19. In verse, yeah, in, 19, in verse 19. Mm -hmm. It says, He sheweth his word unto Jacob, mm -hmm. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had there not. Is. See? Yeah. Come on. He had not dealt so with any nation. So those are gods. The sons of God are the Israelites. Come on. And it's for one of the Israelites, because the Israelites are men and women. You see? So the sons of God are found among the Israelites, the men. You see, come on. It says he had not dealt so with any nation. See, <laughs> and as for his judgments, man, they have not known them. So no other race could fit the sons of God. So when you get that misconstrued in your head about we were all made in the image of God, well, that's a lie. Because what's the image of God? You see, let's get that. Let's go to. Uh, to cut that, and then we're gonna get into our way showing you classification of men is in is 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 a real thing. It's not just something we're sitting here saying, something we pick, we peek through the scriptures, and in a sense we did through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Start our elder apostle going down. You know who taught us to, to to his younger brothers. You see what I'm saying? But nonetheless, this is the truth that we bear witness to according to, to the spirit. All right. But anyway. Because we got the spirit. If you can go to uh, Leviticus, like Genesis 1 and 26, we're going to read that verse that people get misconstrued, you know. Got it. This Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And the heavenly father said, And who? And God. And the powers. This is dealing with the angels. Come on. Come, come. And the powers, the Allahim said. And the angels. Come on. Let us make. See? See that? It's dealing with the angels. Not dealing with the most high. The most high. These are the workers of the most high. He's the angels. Now watch this. Go ahead. All right. And where are we at? Where are we at, by the way? 
This is Genesis. The beginning. What does Genesis mean? It means the beginning. You see, give me Genesis 1 and 1. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1 in the Bible shop. In the beginning. There it is. There it is, man. What? The powers. See, the read as it is. God. See, meaning the powers. How do we know that? Keep going. Yep. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The angels start with how it's high. You see? Because he said he is the beginning. Mm -hmm. So he was there too. You see that? Because that's the first spirit the Lord created. You see? How do we know that? Because he was the one that he gave the word to. Really, he is the word. You see? He would be the first one to execute the word and to know what would happen after the word was given. Think about it. He gave birth to him and Yahweh was going to act it out. The Lord gave the word. You see what I'm saying? And Yahweh would be the first to execute it because he is the word. The, the word, look, the word is only going to be what the Lord said, uh, uh, what the what the Lord's uh, word, the word is only going to be what it, the Lord's words consisted of. You see what I'm saying? So Yahweh Shah by default was just made to be obedient, if you will, spiritually. You see what I'm saying? But not to get all deep, if you can jump back to 1 and 26. Yep. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Mm -hmm. And then Yahweh Shah will what? Because it say that the Lord made all things by whom he created the world. The world. Matter of fact, if you can get that, Bible Kushah, Hebrews 1 and 1, try to stay disciplined in this. You know, but we got to make that point. While well, it's being spoke to, Hebrews 1 and 1. So then it's going to take you back to the angels. Go ahead. So I can. Mm -hmm. 1 and 1, and then you can read 2. And then it's going to tie it's gonna tie the whole point at uh, home with what we was just speaking to. Okay. It's Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. Yep. It says, God, the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. who at sundry times mm -hmm. and in diverse manners spake in times past mm -hmm. unto the fathers by the prophets. See? <laughs> the, the gods, the sons of God. Right. You see? Which makes the nations uh, gods. You see what I'm saying? The whole nation is gods because the whole nation will have the words of God. Which is things that's going to happen hereafter. Our people just walking around gods and they don't even, you know what I'm saying? That's what makes us gods. Because we got the Lord's word, man. You see? But the top sons, then you got levels to the sons of God. But that's a whole other thing. You got it, bro. You got, you got to keep going on that. Yeah, got it, got it. Uh -huh. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. Had in these last days spoken unto us by his son, mm -hmm. whom he hath appointed heir of all things, mm -hmm. by whom also he made the worlds. See? So Yahweh Shah, he made all things, man. You see? <laughs> Jump to verse 4. Verse 4 says, being made so much better oh. than the angels. Oh, oh, read verse 3. Yeah. Because that's going to tie the point. Come on. Yeah, verse 3 says, Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image. And the what? And the the express image. What is the image? See, if you know what the image is, mean, it is you would know exactly what this is saying. It's talking about the Lord's way of life, which we're going to prove. He would be the one to execute that. Because he, he, he was the first one to he, he was the first one to have the words, have the will. You see what I'm saying? He is the will. The words are once again going to only be what the Heavenly Father's words consisted of. Period. That Yahweh would have no other choice but to go and make everything. Because Yahweh, the, the power said, let there be light. You see what I'm saying? So Yahweh Shah, he gave that order. He will be the first to know that because that's the first created spirit. That's why I said the only begotten of the Father. He's the only spirit that the Lord created, the Heavenly Father created, and then Yahweh Shah created everything else. You see? He was used. Right? Now, <clears throat> man, that's heavy. And that deals with what? Vessels. He would use Yahweh Shah like a vessel, which made him his son. You see what I'm saying? Which makes us his sons because the Lord uses us to do his will, his bidding. You're not going to send somebody you don't know 
that's not your vessel, your temple, to do that. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, man. <laughs> For those that you receive it, but you got it, man. You got it, bro. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3, it yes. says, Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. He will be the one to bring out what the Lord is about. To show what the Lord is about. He said, he that sees me has seen the heavenly father, man. You seen what I do, how I move, how I act, how I look. You seen the heavenly father, man. See, come on. And upholding all things by the word of Ooh. his power. See, come on. When he had by himself purged our sins, uh -huh. sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. And keep going. And being, this is the point. Being made so much better than the angels. Mm. See? The house shall above the angels. So if you're reading and God said, uh, and, the, and, the, and the God and God said, let us, let us, okay, that's the angels, make man in our image. Well, if your house shines before them, which we know he is, because it said he's better than them, he was there too. So this is not made up. They was following his orders. As it's going to go on and tell you. Go ahead. And notice this is to the Hebrews, by the way. So you Hebrews are to know this. You see? You Hebrew Israelites. Because there are many Hebrews. This ain't to all Hebrews. It's to the Hebrew Israelites. Come on. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. Uh-huh. Being made so much better than the angels. Uh-huh. As he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. See? Because <laughs> he's his son. You know? Come on. Verse 5, for until which of the angels... Well, that's it. I don't want to cause confusion. The, angel, the other angels' sons, too, but they're, you know, they want to sit down here to be Israelites. You know what I'm saying? In the spirit, we're saying people do. You see what I'm saying? They just ain't... You got angels that haven't came down here and got put in Israelite bodies. Like, they don't have... They're not down here reaping in on the benefits of the Israelite race because they got other jobs. You see what I'm saying? So... That, hey, that's so heavy because they say the saints going to judge the world and the saints going to judge angels. So that's what makes it. You, to be an Israelite is a whole nother thing, man. Because it says the, the destiny of an Israelite, oh, man, and that's it. Because we look up Israel the, in, in the Hebrew, it's Yahshua Allah that means he will rule as God. You see? Not as the gods, but as God. So to be an Israelite, you also be above the angels. You see what I'm saying? That's facts. See that? Because the the the, the, the uh, angels are bound. You see what I'm saying? We like the most high. You see what I'm saying? We literally his sons and daughters. You see that? Go ahead, bro. It's <laughs> Hebrews chapter one and verse five. It says, "For unto which of the angels said he at any time, mm -hmm. Thou art my son." That's what we're on our way to. That's why we have to understand the identifications of men. It's like the classifications of men, and ultimately our classification. Right. You see, and that's a very powerful word. If a brother can post the word classification, Bible Kusha, go ahead, brother. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Hebrews 1 and 5, it says, For unto which of the angels said he at any time? Yeah, to which of any other angels? Michael, Michael, Allah, you know, Gabriel, Uriel, you see what I'm saying? Which of uh, any of them? You know, and, 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 and uh, uh, Michael, Allah, the ark, he's the top angel. Go ahead. It says, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. You see, he ain't said that. He he, 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 he he didn't say that to any of the other ones. It says, unto, unto which of the angels said he that any time thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. See? And again, I will be to him. Look, and again, and again, meaning when he said that to Yahweh Shah, when you read about that in Matthew, the third chapter, when he was baptized by John, and then the Spirit, the, uh, the, the Holy Spirit basically came over him. And then Yahweh's shot, Yahweh's voice came out the chariot. You see what I'm saying? The so-called UFO. He said, that, you know, I have begotten you this day. Well, it says that was that was we, the scripture would have us know, the spirit would have us know that wasn't the first time the Lord said that to Yahweh shot. Because it says, and again I will be to him a father. You see? Meaning what? He said that to him when he was Adam. You see what I'm saying? 
And if you want to go even further back, when he actually created Yahweh Shai, the spirit, who will go on to take on a lot of being the first chosen son of God on earth, the flock, the first chosen man on, uh, on, on earth. Because remember, the sons of God, they're, they're in bodies too, like men. But what makes them higher is, 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 is the knowledge they have, the lifestyle they have, the ability they have. They're able to shoot the things that's going to happen hereafter and much other things, many other, amongst many other things. So that's the, that, this is the, that, wasn't, this, that wasn't the first time in Matthew the third chapter that Yahweh Shah had that said to him. He had that said to him when he was Adam, which is why we're going to go back to the garden. But it says, and again, I will be to him. Let me read it again. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Not one. Look, and again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. You see? See that? See that? So is that simple? Who is it to win at that? When, 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 what the time? Why does it say again? Because Yahweh Shah will eventually uh, uh, come back and he will redeem himself as a son of God. That's what his, his lot was also about when he came back as himself, Yahweh Shah. He was redeeming himself from his fall. That's why you read about that in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. How one man's sin came to fall, or came, you know, by one man came sin into the world or whatever. Par not whatever, but paraphrasing. And by one man we all feel, you see what I'm saying? And by one man we all say, Yahweh Shah was redeeming himself. But point being, he was that son that was told you are my son. You see what I'm saying? That's why he would go get cleansed. <laughs> Symbolically. He would what? Take heed to the word. You see? That was a that was symbolism when he would get baptized by John that he was going he was taking heed to the word this time. He didn't do that as Adam. But Hence, going back to uh, Genesis 1 and 26. Yep. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. And God said, Yeah, let us see. They go the angels. But also, your house is here. But go ahead. Let us make a lake flat. Let us make man in our image. Make who? Make man uh -huh. in our image. See? Now, this is dealing with, is this dealing with all men? No. Not this part because. It says, let us make man in our image. Go to Sirach, Bible Bishop, 17 and 3. Okay. Go ahead. Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 3. He endued them with strength by themselves uh -huh. and made them according to his image. See? Now, what is it? This say man and do it say, oh, what does it say? Okay. He endued them. See? With strength by uh -huh. himself, by themselves. Yeah, this is a certain group of that was a certain man. That was of a certain pedigree, a certain caliber. He would be the ones to have the image of the Lord, you know, uh 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 upon him. You see, but go ahead. Just because you got two images. The the beast got an image. People about to get punished. And what's that image? The lifestyle, man. And you gotta worship the image of the beast, meaning the way he lived life, the way he go about things. That's all the image is. Well, we got the scripture to prove it. Go ahead. God. It says, it made them according to his image. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Read the next verse. And put the fear of man upon all flesh hmm. and gave him dominion over beasts and fowls. Okay, God. That's beautiful. Boy, that's deep. So we're going to go into that. Go to Wisdom of Solomon 7. And uh, this is the point. Okay, I did a lesson on this by the Spirit. Okay, so ultimately, image is, the, is, 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 is wisdom. Start at verse 24, Bible Show. God, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. Start at 21. Verse 21, it says, and all such things. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, start at uh, verse 17. Watch this. God, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 17. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. You got to start at 15. Then we jump to 17. Watch this. Uh, verse 15. It says, God has Who? Went, God uh, 
hath granted me to speak as I would. See? Because meaning he ain't just speaking like regular. See? In general. But go ahead. And to conceive as is me for the things that are given me. Mm -hmm. Because meaning, see, things are specified. In the beginning, when the Lord separated the sons of Adam, let me read that real quick. This is Deuteronomy. Okay. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. And it reads, And when the Most High, let me start at 7. It says, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shoot thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations, meaning races, their inheritance. You see? You've given something, meaning that's specified. So it ain't this one big thing that we all just the same, everybody got to say we all the. No, that's off. There's three classifications of men. It says, when the, when the Most High divided to the nations of their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, which is important to note, it says, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Why? Because those are his children, the sons and daughters of God. You see, the rest of the people that you have is what? The sons of men and the sons of the perdition. Now, the reason why everybody are said to come from Adam because all flesh come from the ground, man. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you look at this uh, this uh, thumbnail, the thumbnail ain't on there right now, but if you look at the uh, the screen, what's on the left, the brown, is, is a stone. It's called Adamite, right? And we didn't name these stones. These so-called white people named these stones. They took everything after our fall and, you know, renamed every goddamn thing. Because everything was originally in Hebrew. But for some reason, they called this stone Adamite. Now, what does that tell you? Adam was a so-called black man. Now, if I just say it by the Spirit, because the Scriptures say it, all men come from Adam. Matter of fact, if you can hold that Scripture you read it, <laughs> jump to, uh, if you can jump to uh, Sirach 33 and uh, 10. Because, uh, you know, the Spirit has got us when we're moving around. Which is good because we this is it, 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 it stay short. God. Yeah, go ahead. The Sirach chapter 33 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. It says, and all men are from the ground. See? Meaning what? From Adam. Come on. And Adam, see, was created of earth. See? Which is why they call this Adamite. Because what the earth looked like. Alright? Now when you go to uh 2 Ezra 6 and 54. It tells us this, okay? Everybody come from Adam, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-four. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, mm -hmm. of him come we all, mm -hmm. and and the people also, whom thou hast chosen. You see? So there it is. Now, my point of reading this is because. It says, when the Most High divided to the nations, the races, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion, Yahweh's portion, is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. So, reason being, as I said, because you have those people, the Hebrew Israelites being the sons of God, they won't be the ones that the Lord showed his word to, as we read you see, so that's that. But they will come in the form of Adam too, who was made out of the dust of the earth. But they will be will make them different or classify them to be different specifically is because they have his word, aka his image. So they will be the sons of God. Now, but what about the rest of the people? Because they come from Adam too. Well, Adam mean man. So that's the second classification of man. Man, the sons of men, the sons of man. Just regular, basically mortals. Ain't nothing to them. They're just mortals. Now, we know this is true because everybody on the earth looks this color. Everyone's brown. Everybody. 
well, wait a minute. You say, well, no, not the so-called white man. Well, that's why you have three classifications of men. You see what I'm saying? Which is the sons of the wicked, the sons of perdition, which takes you back to Cain. Okay? But reason why we would know he that's, the, that's true because he's the only person out of all the people that are melanated, and, the, and there's a differentiation out of the people that are melanated. One group of people are like gods due to their abilities, what they're able to do, and the other people is just mortal, right? So that's two groups of people. And you got another group of people that have no melanin at all. They don't look like this. So they're not deemed the sons of God. They're not deemed the sons of man. They're deemed the sons of the wicked. Perdition. Going back to who? Cain. Because it tells you that how Cain is the son of the wicked one. Now, what's synonymous about Cain, what's, what's significant about Cain, because Cain, he had a mark put upon him. You see what I'm saying? Cain had a mark put upon him. Because really the lesson breaks, the break, we're saying this, you know, you know, let me get the scripture. Okay. They want to act like they don't know what I'm talking about. One second, okay? Yeah, go ahead. St. John, 1 John 3 and 12. I'll read it. This is 1 John 3 and 12. It says, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one. See that? Now, what does that tell you? Cain was denoted as being wicked. Now, what happened to Cain? Cain lost his melanin because he got that mark put upon him. Hence Esau. He came back as Esau. That's when he received the mark. That's when he lived out that mark for, for, forever. That's why you can't kill so-called white people and do nothing to them. They're king. That's and that mark make how do we know that? Because they have the mark. And they got the, the characteristics of those that touch this man that's, you know, you're gonna meet sevenfold judgment, vengeance, or something like that. Try doing something to a so-called white person. You know, we were talking about that earlier. You know, think of thing, uh, Jake can, you know, rape or kill an Edomite woman or something like that. Man, they gonna look up, uh, what's his name, Alan Brooks. You know, the brothers was just talking about that. You know, the Dallas brothers. You know, they basically teach at a, a site where Jake was hung at. But he, the point being, he was accused of doing that. You know, and the story ain't hidden with him. You see what I'm saying? So you can't do none of these Edomites. You see what I'm saying? Hence, like it was said, Cain. So Cain came back as Esau, which is when he would live out that mark, that which is him not having no melanin, which would make him different from the rest of the people of the earth. Because the rest of the people of the earth, once again, are brown. But there's a differentiation between them. You got one people that's like gods. Because they their abilities and the rest are mortal. Then you got these people. That's three classifications of men. And what is that third group of people known as? Well, that third group of people, people who come from Cain. What does it say? It say it say first John 3 and 12. Not as Cain who was of that wicked one and slew his brother, and where and wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. See? Abel was the son of God. You see? Because he knew, based off how he did his sacrifice, what would happen. You see what I'm saying? That the Lord would accept it. Cain didn't know that. That's why he's not a son of God. The only thing that makes you a, a, a son of God is if you know what's going to happen hereafter. You see what I'm saying? I know my fire is going to be, my sacrifice is going to be accepted because I did it according to this. The only way you would know that is if you're a son of God. Cain didn't know that. And we know he didn't know that because it tells us he didn't know that. He was mad. He didn't understand why his wasn't accepted. He wasn't a guy. He was of the wicked one. So these so-called white people came third, they're the third classification of men, the sons of the wicked, aka the sons of perdition. But to finish off these scriptures we brought out, because really that's the point. Alright? We're gonna go ahead and just do that for the listeners and we're gonna close out. What you know, bro? That was it. Just um first John three and two. I read that. Yeah, that was it. Now you ain't have to bear that I read that. Oh yeah, no, that's the other one. Hold that. Beautiful. No, the other ones you just you just read. 
Oh. All the ones we just read. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and 24. Yeah, commentary like 17. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's that. Um, you already got through Joe. And then I got Genesis chapter 1. If you hold Joe, drop it. And you did, and Joe, and we gotta finish Genesis one. Yep. Yeah, that's basically that. Okay, Kyle. So go ahead and read that uh, Genesis one and twenty six one more time, and we're gonna go back to that what's with Solomon, and we're gonna close out, and we're gonna prove in the scriptures it is three classifications of miracles. Go ahead. This is Genesis chapter one and verse twenty six. Uh huh. And God said, uh -huh. Let us make man in our image. Yep. The fish of the sea. Yep. And which are compared to men. See? Because mm -hmm. it's spiritual. And tell you that in Ecclesiastes, I'll get it real quick. In the ninth chapter. It tell you that in Ecclesiastes in the ninth chapter, Salakia. Okay. It says uh in the eleventh verse, it says in the twelfth verse, for man, look, for man also knoweth not his time as the fishes. That are taken in a evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them, which we are, we're deemed to be uh, the sons of men too, because of the state we have took on. You see what I'm saying? We're a mortal body, which but you still have to keep in contact. We're actually gods, which is why I say, and uh, the Lord told us in Psalms, the 82nd chapter, in the sixth verse, He said, "I have said, ye are gods." And all of you are children of the Most High, but ye shall die like men. You see what I'm saying? That's done. That's it. But we still gods. Because we know what's going to happen hereafter. Now, the Lord wouldn't make it himself to look crazy or us to look crazy. Well, that's why he have us written to go on and get immortal immortality back. Because the thing that has been is that what shall be. So is that, you see what I'm saying? Was that you see what I'm saying? Was that everybody in the uh was that everybody in the garden that was immortal? No. That was the chosen man, Yahweh Shah and Eve. You see what I'm saying? And the rest of the people. Because they was partaking in the other people's ways. Because where did Cain get his wife from? You see what I'm saying? Adam, Eve came over Adam's family. Because she is rid. Bone, David said, You are my bone and of my flesh. Meaning family. So rib just denoted that. He didn't take a rib and make, make a, a woman out of a bone. That's not what happened, man. Alright? So these people just, they just, they, you know, it's, it's done. That's how we know we at the end. It says, and fall like one of the princes. So it says, arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Now, yeah, everybody's going to learn this truth. Now, point being, um, if you can read that 1 and 26 one more time, we can close out. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. Uh -huh. And God said, let uh -huh. us make man in our image yep. after our likeness, uh -huh. and let them have dominion the over the fish of the sea, yep. and over the fowl of the air, yep. and over the cattle, and over all the earth. Yeah, see? We're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That was talking about us. Sons of God. Daughters of God. That was doing, the angels were doing what at that point? They were they were um, classifying things. Because when you go into the word class, classification, light of Israel, it says the process of organizing things such as jobs or products into particular, into particular groups <laughs> based on their type. Now, they were, these people, they said, let us, they said, and God said, let us, the angels, make man in our image. Let them, let them have the, you know, the ability like us, you know, they'll, you know, live forever. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they'll have the knowledge of, you know, your how, your how, you see what I'm saying? And stuff like that. But, um, or, you know, Allah will shot you. You see what I'm saying? But, um, the other people won't, but. They were, in which that same image would allow them to go on and do what? Uh, be fit to rule. You see? Have the duty of ruling. You see? So we can go to Job, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 24, and then that'll be it for uh, for that. We can read those prescriptions if you got some.
So yeah, and then the knock out haste in the date, the accent, or we'll read that last. Go ahead. Straight to it. Seven and uh wherever you left off at. Right. Seven and uh uh fifteen. Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon chapter seven and verse fifteen. Go ahead. It says, God had me so like God hath granted me to speak as I would uh -huh. and to conceive as is me for the things that are given me. Yeah, because you're a son of God, so you speak different, you think different. Come on. Because it you is talk he. about different things. Come on. Because it is he. Your conversations is of the heavens. Hence the sons of God. Come on. Because it is he that leadeth unto wisdom. See? So we're talking about wisdom. Come on. And directed the wise. Yeah, and only the wise have wisdom, obviously. Now jump to verse Bible Kasha, 17. Verse 17 uh -huh. says, For he have given me certain knowledge mm. of the things that are. Everybody got knowledge. We're just saying that by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. But you got to know this book. You see, the will of Yahweh watch me on shot. Come on. Namely, to know how the world was made. Which they don't know. This art book. Who was told how the world was made? Moses. See? Come on. And the operation. Not Muhammad. Come on. And the operation uh -huh. of the elements. You see? And that's the Lord, the knowledge of the angels. How things was created. Jump to verse, uh, keep going. Yeah, verse 18, it says, the beginning. The what? The beginning. See? <laughs> See that? Genesis. Come on. Amen. Yep. Yeah. And then that's dealing with, the, you know, Revelation. See? This Solomon. But who, who the only one know the beginning and the ending? See? Solomon was your house shot. Your house shot was Solomon. Come on. Mm -hmm. And midst of, of the times. And ultimately, he just denoted as being Solomon, he's a God. Because the gods know what's going to happen hereafter. See, the beginning and the ending. Declaring the beginning from the, you see, the ending from the beginning. Go ahead. Yeah. It says the alterations of the turning of the sun mm -hmm. and the change of seasons. So we're the gods. The Lord just got to put us back in that state and take us out of these bodies, but Go ahead. And the circuits of years uh -huh. and the position of stars. That was it. Jump to uh, verse 22. In yeah, verse 22, you start 21, you start 21. In yeah, verse 21, it says, And all such things are as either secret as are, as are either secret or manifest them, I know. Like a God. Come on. Verse 22, for wisdom, which is the worker of all things. Number 24. Kind of verse 24, it says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Because we don't know what the image was. Let us make man. And God said, Let us make man in our image, this chosen man. Let them have, you know, be like us. Hence, go to the ending. That's why John was told to get up for because I'm your brethren. When you look up brethren, it's kin. When you go to kin, it means alike. What, see? What make us alike. See that? Go ahead. Kind. Wisdom of Solomon 7 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. Keep going. For she is the breath of the power of God, uh -huh. and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Therefore, can no defiling thing fall into her. No defiled thing fall into her. You know, he that can't pick, you know, can't deal with wisdom. Man. Go ahead. Verse twenty-six. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light. Yeah. The That's why the Lord will tell us to be holy, because He's going to give us wisdom, and that's a key point to know. You can't be, you can't get wisdom, which is what we're talking about, right? But we're trying to figure out what the image is, uh, if if unless you're undefiled. So I even say, be holy, be separate, because I'm trying to give you wisdom. Exactly. But we're talking, we're trying to figure out what the image is. Right. Go ahead. It says, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of God, and the image of His goodness. See, wisdom. So the angel said, let, and, let, and the God said, let us make man with our wisdom. Or with wisdom. Really with our wisdom, because it's two wisdom. Right. So let us make man in our, with, our, with, our, with our wisdom. So once again, that was to know the chosen people. So that ain't, everybody was made in the image of the Most High. That was dealing with the sons of God, man. The sons and daughters of God. So there it is. Okay, you got first John three ten. Go ahead. And we can close out Revelation nine and eighteen. Long oh, sure. It's first John chapter three and verse ten. It says, "And, and this, this where is many more scriptures and many different angles to take and go into this." You see what I'm saying? But 
you know, the point really proven, you know, because you got son, the, the rest of these people are the sons of man, you know, and you got the sons of the wicked one. But go ahead. It says, in this, the children of God are manifest. See? So the children of God are manifest. What makes it clear? Come on. And the children of the devil. See? Two classifications right there. Because everything that come down to Esau and Jacob, which is the righteous versus the wicked, and then everybody else is what? The heathens. Just regular bystanders. They just, you know what I'm saying? Just mortals, beasts. You know, they just regular. But Esau is the wicked. You know? Israel is the gods. You see what I'm saying? The God, man. Okay, so you got the sons of God versus the sons of the wicked. Good is set against evil. Go ahead. All right. Uh -huh. It says, and it, we know it's Esau because he got the mark of Cain, who is said to be the son of the wicked. You see? So there you go. Huh. Who, who, who date two? Esau or uh, uh, Cain? Cain. Well, Cain is said to be the son of the wicked. So that's what you go back to. Y'all the sons of the wicked. That was your classification from the point. You got Mark, you did what you did as Cain, Esau, you so-called white people, to the point you came back and you have, uh, to, to this day have been living out that Mark. You see what I'm saying? Was that leprous, unmelanated skin, which makes you different from everybody on earth, man. From all the other melanated people. And what makes them different is that it's one, it's a class, it's a, a, it's a differentiation because one, uh, uh, a class of those people are like gods. They know the scriptures. They holy. They're completely opposite of you. So you got the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked, which is your ass, Esau. Go ahead. Yeah, God, it says. And you would need to know this in order for to be able to properly move forward, you know, into this kingdom, man. Into the into the into your ability. You see what I'm saying? And, you know? Into the level you're supposed to be on, man. The mindset you're supposed to be preparing yourself to, you know. You know, hey man, <laughs> we got something ahead of Hey, we about to come into power, man. <laughs> the Lord about to restore us. Come on. Yeah, first John <clears throat> chapter on three and verse ten. So if you want to be put back as a God, you gotta get the image back. But you can't, which is wisdom, but you can't get that wisdom if you're defiled. You gotta be holy. See? So that's why you got to know the classifications of men and what class you fall under. So now you eat blizzard like so-called black Latinos and Native American you know you are the sons of God. The sons and daughters of God, man. You know? You got it, bro. It says, and it's a level amongst us. The man, Israelite man over the Israelite woman. Then the Israelite child, all right? And then there's levels amongst the Israelite men. It's like levels amongst the Israelite women. And there's levels amongst the Israelite children. You see? Period, man. That's a whole other thing. Go ahead. First John 3 and 10. Uh -huh. In this, the children of God are manifest. Yep. And the children of the devil. See? Whosoever. <laughs> you good? Okay. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Ooh, whoever. See? There it is. Is not of God. See? Is it that simple? Okay. Neither he that loveth not his brother. So ultimately, you can't even be a son of God if you be in the foul. Because you because being the foul is being on is due to being unrighteous. So you got to be righteous to be that son of God. And then ultimately, once you start being that son or daughter of God, you won't die no more. You're not doing nothing to die. So that will have to manifest physically. See? So yeah, man, this, and this is manifest the sons of the wicked. We know Esau, he's a damn wicked because that's all he do. And a righteous bone in his body. If you go to Revelation 9 to 18, that would be it. Okay. And then, um, uh, I'm going to get one quick scripture just to touch on the sons of men. You know, this is uh, Ecclesiastes. Because we really just spoke to uh, two major players. We talked we, we talk uh, about the uh, sons of men. You know, this is, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 18. It says, I'm going to start at 17. It said, no, I'm going to start at 16. It says, Yeah, 15. It says that, shit, let me start at 14. <laughs> I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. So the classifications of men will never end. So if we truly gods, we gotta, we can't die anymore. You see what I'm saying? That's what this time is about. Learning who we are, getting back to how we're supposed to be so we can actually manifest who we are, you know? 
to you know, and that's it. And everybody else, it says, it shall be forever. Esau will always be with you. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God do it, it that men should fear before him. The Lord clearly made a difference. You can't do what we do, you, you other people, you know, the Hebrew Israelites. That which had been is, and then the Jake that's not in the truth can't do what we do. They can't show you what's going to ha ha happen hereafter. So that's why they don't even, the Lord like, don't even count them as Israel. They're figment in your imagination. You see, so to really be a son of the God has had his word. You see, it says that which has been is now, and that which is to be has already been, and God required that which is past. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment, that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness, you see, <laughs> that iniquity was there. I said in my heart, the most high God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in my heart concerning the estate of the sons of men. See, that's all the people with these, these mortal bodies. You know, that God might manifest them that they might see that themselves are beasts. For that which befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts. Even one thing befalleth them. As the one died, so died the other. Yeah, they all have one breath, so that a man have no preeminence above a beast for that for all is vanity, and that's what makes the other people what they are. Because they just die. You see what I'm saying? They just be regular and die. They're just regular ass people. You know what I'm saying? They just nasty, regular just people. They gonna learn righteousness in the kingdom, but they're not gonna ever become the sons of God. Because once again, nothing the Lord what the Lord has done is forever. See? Nothing can be put to it at, you know, taken from it. That men should fear. And Esau will never be able to learn righteousness. He the son of the wicked. We can close out here. Was it 9 and 18? Yep, Revelation chapter 9 and verse 18. By these three was the third part of men killed. See? The third part of men. You see? And what's the third part of men? What we just read. It's the lowest point of men. You know? Because if you got three parts, if you, if you got a third part, that means it's three. You see? And it's literally in an order. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. The sons of God, the sons of men, yeah. and the sons of the wicked, or the perdition. You see? He's the last. The third part of men. Daniel 4 and 17, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of the kingdom of men. We all men because we die, but we still the sons of God. I have said you are God, but you shall die like men. See, so anyway, and give it, it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it, the basis of men, the basis of men. Esau's the bottom. The third is him. You read it, bro. Revelation chapter 9 and verse 18. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone. So, yeah, to know this three classifications of men. Esau's gonna die. All the Edomites in America are gonna die by the nukes. That's what that's talking about. Alright? Okay. That's it? That's it. Okay, so yeah. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. We, this is the last one. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a fall in the way first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See? So that's it. And this is the classification uh, by not quite out hasty the day. The action or process of classifying something according to shared qualities or characteristics. Okay, light of Israel classification, the process of organizing things such as jobs. Huh. And the things will be us, and we will get jobs. It says the class, the process of organizing things such as jobs or products into particular groups based on their type. So the things will get particular jobs. Us, we will get particular jobs based on our type. You see, we was made where the where the, the the Heavenly Father, Sprite Hand Spirit, we're, we're, we're the angels on earth.
You see, the regular, the other these people, they just regular deck with just common folk. This and Esau is just he be wicked, blood eating, drinking, righteous hating. You know what I'm saying? Him. All right. So with that, you got anything? Yeah, one quick one. You got it, bro. It's Proverbs 11 and 1. It says, A false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh. Okay. But a just weight is his delight. You know, so the Lord, he deals with balance. And um, with balance, you got to have some kind of separation, you know, going into that classification. All right? The Lord, you know, it's, just, it's obviously rules to balance. You know, one thing has to outweigh the other, meaning it could be one people that's going to be better. Completely. Completely better. There's going to be, you know, other classifications, you know, but it all has to be it's in that balance. Completely weak. Exactly. And that, that has to be, you know, one's completely powerful, one's completely weak. And then we already know there's always a middle area. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord doesn't deal with the middle area. That's the lukewarm area, you know. Um, and that's why you're going to get rid of Esau so that middle can slide over. Exactly. Kind of. It says, but a just weight it is his delight. So, Lord. <clears throat> He deals with a just weight, so, um, you know, as we see today, you know, we we down, but we gonna be up, you know, and it is so much more, but right? on topic, you know, the Lord, he deals with balance. Yeah, every point, yeah, so with that, Lord, well, it's been edifying, the third part gonna be gone, too, since the brother spoke on that, and the second part gonna take over the third part spot. Uh, we're going to be completely perfect, put back to being perfect once we learn this and get back to being uh, holy, manifesting that. You see what I'm saying? Redeeming ourselves like Yahushua had to do. That's why we walk in his image. See that? But it will be completely perfect. And then Esau will be done away with the complete third part of man, right? Eventually. You see what I'm saying? And then the second part will slide over because you have that balance now. Completely perfect and completely not perfect. You see what I'm saying? So with that, we give our honor, praise, and glory. Call Allah, Allah. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahabadash, Rakah. Wadi Habash, Yahweh Shai, Kahawa Kasha Dash. Shalom.